Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 169, despite what you might have seen in a meeting invite. It is Meeting 169. Uh, today is May 9th, and we're rolling through 2019 like there is no 2020. I don't know, there's 2020. As always, uh, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now. We're going to look at the agenda, and it looks a lot like last week. Um, so we'll go walking through it, uh, but I expect there's not going to be any surprises. Except in triage, we have a lot of bugs. Bob, ready? I am set. All right, starting down here at the bottom of the bottom that we count right now. I think this is making progress, the fixing the 2019 detection, because there was a bug in it. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't move. There we go. All right, just my scroll. Is, all right, here we go. Oh, my God. Well, it's, uh, um, so the Wix 3 is still pending. All right, so this should get Wix fixed in Wix 3. 14 after being fixed in Wix 4, correct? It's already been fixed in 4 and merged. Yep. There's, um, uh, Heath sent out a pull request for 3 to fix the bug. Great. So that will make its way through. Because I know people are interested in that. Internet icon attribute not modularized. Hmm, probably should be. Cool. Someone could fix that. Let's toss it in 4 and See if it wants to fix it in the UL compiler. Burn implementation hangs on pipe right. Hmm. The managed bundle. This is a thread on Wix devs. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right. Well, I haven't had problems with this, so the BA can get into the effect here, though. What do we do this, with this while it's being discussed on, do we close it until we get something that says that it's actually a bug and burn? A little bit of this um, sounds like the hang in um, the Wix standard BA, right? That fix just came around recently. Uh, well, I don't know. There's no, there's no detail. I mean, there's no detail in this bug. The threat, I think, is, is uh, suspended um, waiting on your wisdom, since oh my wisdom, I have. Well, you did do the managed bundle runner, bundle uh, runner, and I did not, and really don't know what it's doing. Um, like I found the complete message thing interesting. Is there? I mean, I, I'm I'm sure we haven't changed the the pipe layer in. Well, I'll say recently. I can't say we haven't changed it ever in, you know, since Burn was introduced, but um, I saw the, you know, hard-coded magic numbers, and I get queasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't have any memory of all of it. I mean, yes, I know that, but, like, the details of it, I don't know. Someone needs to go debug into it all the way down, so. That's what I suggested. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know what to do with that issue, though, right now. 4.0 and someone can investigate it, or...? Opinions? Anybody? I guess we'll leave it for another week. Another two weeks. I will have time to get into my mail in two weeks, so I'll make sure I get to it, and then we'll see where we're at on the thread. We'll do okay, that. That works. Give me time. Uh, this ended up turning into a thread on Wix users, I think. Yeah, and basically the issue is, yeah, it's case sensitive. Variable names are case sensitive. And if you put the wrong variable name, then it ends up in the log file. So I don't think we're going to change this behavior. I don't think so either. Yeah. All right. Variables it's a little interesting. Sensitive. Variables are case sensitive, and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. So. Why? Why are variables case sensitive? I understand why MSIs are, MSI properties are, because they make a big deal about case. But there's no difference. There's no, you know, no such thing as a, you know, public property, public variable in Burn. No, I think because. 
because they've always been case sensitive. Uh, you could argue in the beginning, it's like, oh, we should have made them case insensitive, but they're not. They're case sensitive. All right. I, I mean, that's that's the answer. If someone said, all right, I would like to go and do the work to make burn variables not case sensitive, we could discuss that. But that's the answer to this one. Got it. Make feature absent and feature allow absent, or allow advertise consistent. Yeah, give me this and put it in four because I was doing stuff and this was just bugging me. So when you look at the code, you're like, oh, this is just goofy. What type is absent today? Uh, yes, no. I think, or is that right? I think it's yes, no, and allow advertise is yes, no. Um, and they're just they're backwards basically right now. Oh no! To make it, uh, no. There's like, oh, what is it? Absolutely. Oh, oh, I know what it is. It's, allow it's, disallow. It's, allow disallow. That's what it is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nothing like your bespoke booleans. Right. So that's what it was. Right. Allow and disallow. So anyway, give that to me, and we'll roll forward. Hey, someone decided to do a bunch of MSI accessibility testing, and then give us a bunch of bugs. Yay is one reaction. I right, just, just <laughs> we've had these come through before, right? Yeah. And all right, let's just close all of these as you know. You got to narrow it down to you know your text in the UI or Windows installer behavior. Right, just there's, there's actually one of these bugs that I think is actually you know something interesting control. and Wix real and <laughs> yeah and something that Wix is is in charge of, um, and that's five nine nine four. Pop up window has the same text. Yeah, it's not a good title. It needs editing. Um, basically, the the cancellation prompt uses the same title as the main window. Um, and and we can find the title of it. Oh, see, I had it all assumed out, and now you're making me doubt myself. Um, I believe so. Um, well, if we do, then we can fix that, but I'm not sure that we control the title of these things. But I haven't looked at pop-up dialogues in a long time. A long, long, long. Well, and, and it's it's you know specifically. Um, oh, yeah, we do. We control it, mm -hmm. and we default it to product name, whatever, whatever, whatever. These are all MSI dialogues, Jacob. All right, cool. So I guess we don't close that one, or we yeah, yeah and say yeah, could fix that one. You could do it yourself, dude. Cool. Yes. Does not read checkbox. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 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 All right. Fine. Don't care. But yeah, I agree. I think every other of those accessibility bugs is an MSI thing. Yep. Would love for someone to go fix them. That would be great. Go make them fix them, because then they'd stop buying the bugs against us. Yes. Or go use a real UI. Which is what Jacob is saying. Um, create a bundle that contains a few XE packages, external. Uh, the source shouldn't be linked to the source files they're copied from. Oh, this is hard linking, isn't it? It is. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this is a build optimization, and you can turn it off. I forget. No. Oh, you can't you turn can't. it off? No. <laughs> nope. We always try to hard link. And if that fails, we copy. Yeah. What happens in four? Same thing. Yeah, but with the J folder, it's going to be a little bit different. But for the random text things. Actually, that, that is a fair point. I'm not I'm not entirely sure what happens in four. Um Yeah. Yep. All right. Yep. Yep. 
So the feature request is to do more with this. I feel like we have had this discussion before. We, we, we have. have. And it was like, yeah, you know, if we can figure out that we didn't generate the file, maybe we should copy it so we don't end up creating a hard link to their own stuff. Um, oh. I, I mean, that's right. That's, that's the thing. That's a better default, right? Yeah, basically. A, yeah, all right. Cool. This feels really familiar, though. I, well, I've run into it many times. Um, if you have a you know, big build lab, it's uh, pretty common to want to suppress it. It confuses systems and people. Yeah, we should hard link our stuff and not the other stuff then. And the like stuff that we built as opposed to things that you just referenced externally. I mean, that's a little it's somewhat know. tough to figure out. Yeah, the problem with bundles is it's going to get really bad because then your all your MSIs are going to have to get copied. Yeah, yeah. So people, yeah, unless oh wait, <laughs> now it's all slow. It was working perfectly before. Yeah, and because the build up was always destroying the MSIs and so on and so forth. I'm, I, I'd be, uh, I'd be, I'd be content with a, uh, you know, with a suppress switch, and yeah, you know, rather than trying to make it smarter in a way that might not be all that smart. Mm -hmm. I'm a little suspicious of this use case, though. Like, why are they changing it after they built? No, it's not, not. going to hash properly. No, they're not changing it. The, the, they're, they're changing it after the build, right? So they do a build, this file gets copied, or it looks like it's copied, and then they go and edit the original file, and the built file is changed, and it's confusing. Well, that, they're actually complaining about the opposite. The issue is that when I change those files, the source files are also being oh, changed. You're right, it is the opposite. I read it backwards. And, well, they can't do that, so... But it's the same. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. They're hard links. They're they're, you know, essentially directory entries to the same blob on disk. So changing one changes the other, as I recall from my fun time with hard linking. We can make it per payload. No. No. Okay. I seriously like an attribute to specify whether the payload is copied or hard linked. Yeah. Dude, it's I/O. It's all it's all going to be either blindingly fast because you're you know running NVMe S SSDs or or horribly slow because you're building in the cloud. So. All right, I don't. So you're saying a global switch to basically disable hard links. All right. Well, this bug it's is easiest. Yes, so this bug is easy. Uh, yes, you're right. Files are hard linked. That's the resolution to this bug, and I believe there is a, another feature request for us to change the hard linking behavior because I know we've had this conversation before. So the answer to this guy is like yes, and they shouldn't be linked to source files that they were copied from. And you're like, nope, that's not the way it behaves. But you want to talk about a feature request to go implement it, then we could go discuss that. And we'll go from there. And I that option to suppress hard linking. Right. But it's not a bug. It is it is a feature right now. And he has to. And he's like, oh, it shouldn't do that. I'm like, yeah, but you have to think about the costs and the implications of all the other choices. So there. This bug. And I swear, there's another one. I know there's another one out there. So five seven three four is a feature request. So five seven three four. Mm-hmm. It's the one issues. Uh how do I do this? Is it yeah, okay, now if I could just get rid of uh, the yeah. crap on the end here. Yeah, that. There it is. Boom. Yep, there you go. This is this is what I remember. Good. Yep, there you go. Dupe it to this. Done. All right. Let's talk about Votive, because in the last two weeks, nothing has changed. Um, I've pinged. Nobody's responding. Uh, turns out this week has been billed. 
I tried asking around there. Uh, people I need weren't there because they're all going to be there at a meeting that I have with them Friday. So I'm going to be meeting with Visual Studio people on Friday, and I will corner one, two, ten, however many I need to until they at least look at this problem and give me some um, input as in at least to the point that that's weird, and then hopefully get them to look at it. Um, the reminder there, what I'm talking about is uh, the template display issues are weird, and everybody I've mentioned it to is like, that's really weird. I've never seen it do that. How would you make it do that? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> if I did, I'd make it stop. So, um, yeah, so that's what we're waiting for. Uh, and tomorrow we have... I have meetings with Visual Studio people, and I'm going to hopefully get, I will get an answer to this. So that's, and that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. So when Bob was like, yay, it's almost in the week, and I'm like, yeah, this week is over for me. It's basically been over all week because of build and things like that. So that's the status of Votive. Uh, we'll hopefully get an answer to what the heck is going on with our templates and why they're showing up really weird. And then hopefully the fix is straightforward and we can get this thing done so people will quit bugging me about when will this actually show up because I don't really care about <laughs> um, so that's the current state of Votive long time trying to get Visual Studio to respond to us yay uh, I haven't found anything in there that makes it obvious what we're doing wrong someone wants to go start diffing lots of other templates that would, and finds the thing that I've missed, that would be fantastic. All right. Questions, comments. So I have a thing to mention um, while you think about your question uh, that's going to be happening. Uh, Microsoft has decided that they're going to deprecate Skype for Business and uh, replace it with Teams. Um, this wouldn't be horrible. Uh, Teams is a lot more heavyweight, it seems, um, except the fact that Teams uh, doesn't have the ability to uh, record and share the screen the way that I do here. Uh, it can only present one window. It can't present multiple of them the way I go between PowerPoint and the browser. And I haven't verified that it records in a way that's useful. So um, they told us that we have some amount of time. I have to go look. Um, we're going to go talk to support and ask them, what do we do to make this scenario keep working? But I wanted to bring a heads up as soon as I found out, which I think was yesterday I got the mail, uh, that they're deprecating Skype and they will be turning off all this functionality and making you use an inferior product called Teams. Um, that Editorializing. I, it's inferior. It can't do what I do now. We're getting rid of something and giving me something that can't do this. And so I'm broken. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you should see the amount of trouble it was to figure out how to get the stupid Skype meeting button back in Outlook so I could send this meeting request for today. <sighs> um, it's not been a good week, just fighting technology everywhere. Anyway, if I sound frustrated, I am. I'm really going to have to suck it up for tomorrow when I go to the studio people and tell them their templates are weird, or are weird. Our templates are weird in their tool. Anyway, um... So we may, I may have to be looking at a new way of doing this, um, and I don't know what that means. At this point, the world looks like you go and do uh, something on Twitch <laughs> as the way people share these things and have you know a conversation on the side and all that kind of stuff. Um, so anyway, just want to give you a heads up that the technology for doing these meetings live uh, may be changing. And due to that, we may have some hiccups in the upcoming weeks, depending on when this all gets turned off on us, um, and as we try to find a new option. So um, we'll figure it out. We will make it work. We may just take us a you know, bunch of bumps and new things that you have to go use to make it happen. Anything else people want to talk about? Quiet. Quiet. All right. Well, on that happy note, I hope all of you are having a much more wonderful week than I have. Uh, we'll be back in two because I think Skype will still work for two more weeks, and uh, that would be the twenty third. So. Yeah, it turns. It might be the twenty ninth that it turns off though. Um, maybe June twenty ninth. That's really fast. I have to go look. But anyway, we'll be back in two weeks. We'll do this again. And uh, until then, you guys take it easy. Bye.
Bye. Bye.